How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on the Zildjian Avidus Cymbals. Vintage look, vintage sound, vintage feel and vibe are so popular in musical instruments these days. And these symbols that Zildjian have created definitely go down that road. They're inspired and in the honor of Avidus Zildjian III, the father of the modern American symbol. And these things have a sound and a feel and a vibe of symbols that were around, say, from the 30s all the way up through the 60s. From bebop and jazz to the start of rock and roll, the British invasion, all those kinds of things, these symbols fit that mold perfectly. So let's get into the details right now. These symbols are handcrafted in Zildjian's factory in Norwell, Massachusetts, and each symbol is slightly different. From thin to medium thin weights, they all have a slightly different feel. So when you pick out your symbol, you really get one that's individual to you and your ears and your sound and what you want out of a symbol. Aside from the sound of these symbols, which is fantastic, and I'll get into that in just a second here, there's a couple of really cool features I'd like to point out to you. First one is at the top of the symbol right here, the logo. It's Avidus Zildjian III's signature from his 1939 passport. It's just a nice visual feature to kind of bring you back to that old school vibe. The second thing I'd like to point out is the look, this aged patina look on the symbol again to bring you back to that vintage look and feel. The way I kind of describe it is if you had a symbol for a really long time and you bought some symbol cleaner and over the years you cleaned your symbol a lot to get the gook off, the gig crud, all of those things, the symbols kind of turn into this color. It's a little bit darker than a brand new symbol, even though this is a brand new symbol. Just kind of, again, gives that aged look to it and just inspiration. On the back side here is the old school clear Zildjian logo very neat looking. And then right here underneath the bell is the gram weight. So you can tell exactly what each symbol is in your set and know that you have an individually picked symbol just for you. All right, now let's get into the sound of these symbols and get into the details here. What's cool about these symbols is that they have a little bit of everything in them. Since they're medium to medium thin, you can bash on them and crash them. They're all kind of like in the crash ride area. They're not specifically set out this is a ride symbol or this is a crash symbol. You can do everything with all of the symbols. And again, they have a loose, kind of gushy feel in the hand. So here's the ride symbol. This is a 21 inch crash ride on my right, and this is an 18 inch crash ride on my left. And the hats are 14 inch, and we'll get to those in just a second. So first is 21 inch crash ride. So you get distinction, you get some nice overtones, you get the bright and the dark at the same time, and the bell, especially on this 21 inch, is loud, but it'll cut through. So you can play rock and roll on this cymbal, and again, you can play bop as well. So over here to the 18, I'll do the same kind of thing for you. Nice and washy definitely fills out the room, it'll cut through anything. And I have the sticks I'm using right now are Vader 3A nude sticks, so it has sort of a big barrel tip. If you had a smaller stick, like a 7A or something really tiny with a little acorn tip, you can get really distinct sounds on the cymbal, play jazz, Latin music, all that kind of stuff.
All right, now to my left, the hi-hats. These are 14-inch hats. They also come in 15 and 16-inch sizes, so you can pick and choose whatever you need. And big hats are actually really cool. It doesn't necessarily mean they're louder, just a little bit darker and warmer tone, but the 14s are a great go-to size for just about anything. Killer wash, nice distinction, not too dark, not too bright, definitely right in the middle, so you can play any style of music with these hats. One thing I like to do with these cymbals quite a bit is play them with mallets. They have a great wash. Just a beautiful musical tone. You can see the thinness of this cymbal waving after you hit it. And it's just, again, that adds to that feel, that gushy feel in the hand when you play it. Now before I finish off this video for you, let me tell you of all the other gear I have coupled with these cymbals today. This beautiful drum kit is a Gretsch Catalina Club, mahogany drums, coming in a great price. They sound really good and they couple with these particular vintage Avidus cymbals really well. Some really cool flat based Gibraltar hardware, Gibraltar kick drum pedal, very nice great feeling stuff. The microphones today inside the kick drum is a Telefunken M82. Out in front of the drum kit, a little bit, sort of right in the middle, is a Royer R121 ribbon mic. My overheads are AT Audio-Technica 5045s, and I also have two room mics, they are AEA N8s. Everything is going into my Antelope Zen Studio, and then on into Pro Tools, and that's how you're hearing the drums and the cymbals today. And there you have it everybody, Zildjian Avidus cymbals. Great vintage look, feel, sound, and vibe. Every symbol is slightly different, so you can pick out one that is, fits your needs exactly. If you want any more information about these Zildjian symbols or any other Zildjian product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching.